speed exposure back for another video and uh, today I'm going to show you how to take this deck off and uh, show you how easy it is uh, it rolls out after we unhook everything and uh, yeah let's start with the wheels okay so the wheels they have these little pins and like a little ring hook on it so you want to start taking them off I haven't really took the deck off but once so you may have to bear with me and you get all these uh, down and out of there there's a hole right here that goes the opposite way and uh, you want to put the very top hole on this rod and match it up to that one. Put the pin back through. I'll attach, I'll touch it back to the right height that I think I need. And yeah, you've got four wheels, two on each side. Uh, let me get a uh, tripod real quick. Headed to the third one. I think this is that stubborn one that won't come out. <sighs> okay, let's move to the fourth one because that one's going to need a little bit of uh, manpower. Perfect. Okay, I figured this out. You have the deck up all the way, and you want to switch this turning knob to zero. But you gotta have this up before it'll turn. And you just turn it all the way around to zero. all the way down. So 
it just back to the bottom rear and then cut it off. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. This is my second time. Okay, and then you'll see these uh, pins right here. And over here, it's got like a little uh, spot that it goes up into. Right like that. And it holds it from going back in here. And you want to do that on both sides. Like that and then after that go over here and there's that here's this other pin in the front right hand side you pull it and it pretty much falls after you do that it actually fell before I wanted it to, but you actually pull this handle and it falls down to the ground. Okay, so after that, you want to start the tractor back up so you can lift the PTO for the deck back up and it moves out of the way of these uh, springs and the rest of the deck so you can roll it out if you know what i mean and before you roll it out you want to take this bar off that fell earlier and i got so much grass and then you could just leave that on the ground there. All right, I'm gonna start it back up to lift the deck arms up. And before it'll start, you have to have this in the rear. Just remember that. Okay, so after that step, then you have to end up pulling this off. All right, I think that's everything. Okay, so here's all the steps. Turn all your wheels sideways like this. But I couldn't get this one wheel to turn on mine, so it's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, you want to put your deck all the way down. Take the uh, pins all the way over and clamp them right here on each side. And then the third step is to do that pin and drop this bracket in the front. And then lift it back up. And then the fourth step is to take the uh, the axle off the uh, deck. So there's four different steps you need to do. All right, let's see if this deck will roll out.
wee. I'm glad I don't take this thing off a lot. Because I just use the loader with the deck. If you know what I mean. Well, while I have it soft, I might as well uh, deep clean it, spray it off. Uh, grease all the places it needs. And uh, you can also hook the bucket back up and actually lift the deck up so you can spray it off easier, switch your blades and all that, all that good stuff. And uh, let's see what it looks like without it. It's got pretty good ground clearance, actually. It isn't bad at all. This tractor feels so weird without the deck, if you ever do take it off. Because I'm usually stepping on the deck right here, and it's like the perfect step. But look at it now. It's insane. It's kind of cool though. Get all that dig in clearance. Alright, since we got the uh, deck out, I'm going to do a uh, oil change next and show y'all how how to do that but yeah this is the second time I've ever took this off and if I can do it you can do it that's guaranteed <laughs> oil change I'll make it part one and then I'm gonna do the hydraulic fluid which is gonna be part two and it's back here it's got like a little thing to check it And, uh, and then I'll do a part three of greasing the uh, loader, show you all the pinpoints for it. And there might be a part four, I'm not exactly sure yet.